This is the land end, the most western part of the part of the Britain. What's interesting is these granite cliffs. And then when you look at the sea, I'll be point to what I want to talk about. Look at the sea. It's blue and green, clean. You can see it. Look at the waves. They're clean water. When you are somewhere like uh, other parts of the Britain, the seaside, they are not as clean as this English Channel, especially ports in the English Channel. They are not as clean as here. There is a reason for that. And if you look here, you see just cliffs. High cliffs. That side also cliffs. As far as the eye can see. What these cliffs means is that the towns and villages are higher above the ground. So they cannot actually release their sewage here. <laughs> that's, that's the main point I wanted to make. There is no sewage in these waters. <laughs> that's the reason they can be so clean compared to any other part. Those little top of the hills of granite poking out of the water, including that little bit here. Just a single rock. Connected, of course, to the batholith, which is the granite batholith. Batholith means the huge mass at the bottom, at the depth of the earth's crust. All these granites in the Hator and here and the Isle of Scilly in the far away are like the tops of a mass, mass of granite which are connected together at the earth crust, the lowest part of it. And that mass is called the batholith. Beautiful landscape. Land's end, where the end land ends in Britain. And what you see here is a, you can call it Celtic Sea, which is what is in the Google map is written. But that's practically a sea, which is the extension of the Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. That is Atlantic Ocean. If you continue from here westward, you reach the Americas, probably Canada, Newfoundland, Labrador, those areas, New Brunswick and a little bit down there, New York and Boston, 